In cinematographic setups of cameras, it is not unusual that SDI inputs and outputs get damaged. So in this video, I want to explain you why it happens and of course how to avoid. So we have here a small typical cinematographic setup. So in the center, the camera body is an EVA one. There is a very nice Zakutu shoulder mount cheese plate and the viewfinder then for powering the boat the camera and the viewfinder there is a one uh, v-mount battery and a kind of power distributor in this case from hawk woods so the point is if i switch on this i will switch on both the camera and the viewfinder in this case you will see The camera boots up, the original LCD is still working, but the viewfinder gives a blue screen, even if it is connected by this SDI output to the viewfinder input and it gets power, so something is wrong here. Well, I checked already both units, so the SDI out does not work anymore and also the SDI in of this viewfinder is uh, broken. How did that happen? because it was working and suddenly the cameraman told me told me it stopped well and it's a frequently asked question especially in cinematographic setups well what is very typical in cinematographic setups is that they power the whole configuration by one battery and then distribute this power by uh, a kind of connector in this case it are D-taps. First of all, I'm already not, uh, let's say, a huge fan of D-taps because if you reverse them and you push very strongly, sometimes you can enter with the wrong polarity the connector into the plug and then of course you destroy the equipment connected. This one are very good quality so it's almost impossible to put them upside down but already it's confusing because both are well mounted now and you see one cable is coming out upside and the other is coming out downside by the way this cable will uh, power the EVA and this cable will power the the viewfinder but by powering it all by one battery we create a common ground. I disconnect the cables and I measure between the different ground tabs. I also prepared an ohm meter and it says bzzzd. So these are the grounds of the D tabs. It means whatever I connect there and power it will be grounded it will get a common ground okay not a big deal but i now connect the varicam if i measure between the varicam body i so i take the sdi and the ground of the d tap so i measure 002 ohms Oh, sorry, you cannot see the meter very well. You see, I grounded both equipments together. If on the same power distributor I connect the viewfinder, it will also be grounded. Okay, so far so good. Now, when I power the devices on, this power cable will run some current through it. And because it is not really zero ohms, some voltage will appear between this ground and that ground. Let me show you on the EVA. I measure between my reference ground and the SDI output. So I have about 52 millivolts. This is not so much. This is okay. But now, this is the SDI coming from the Zakuto, from the viewfinder. 
I measure between that ground and the ground of the SDI. Ah, it's not connected, so first I need to connect the power again of the Zakuto. There it goes, wrong one. Let's measure now. Oh, overload. So we need to go to volts instead of millivolts. So there is about 400 millivolt between our central ground and the viewfinder ground. So also between the camera, SDI, out. You see, there is about 300. Sorry, I cannot hold very well. Yeah. There is 330 millivolt of difference. So it means if I connect the viewfinder to the SDI output, I will short circuit some voltage source which is existing between this body and the viewfinder. Now, that can be okay because we don't know what kind of current is going through this cable. Therefore, and that's the most important. The question is how much current is going through the SDI cable at this moment because that is the dangerous part. Therefore, I prepared a current probe and we clip it over this SDI cable. And let's monitor the current. So you see the oscilloscope, by the way, when I switch this equipment off, you see the zero line of the oscilloscope is above and uh, by the way I configure it the current will go negative way and one division is about 100 milliamps so if I switch on oops, we go to about 300 milliamps and also we get a bloody amount of RF noise so this is not so good this of course you can say oh this is current current is only going through the shielding and yes that is right but it has an impact on the central cable of the SDI line and it can create all kind of all kind of dirty pulses on the uh, center line of the coax and at the end damage damage the SDI interface chip and the worst thing look when I power off I try it again because you see this huge power current jump so this is really not good so there is happening something there I don't know I don't know what but at the moment I switch off there is a huge uh, over 0 0.5 ampere current going through the SDI cable now if you measure more deeply which I will not do in this video you will find out also in the central core there is some current running and at the end sooner or later the SDI chip will get damaged by it especially when something goes wrong in the cabling and and the ground starts to do strange things it's sometimes it's very complicated why at the end get damaged but the reason is that they share a common ground it should work perfectly as long there is nothing else wrong somewhere in the system but as soon as something is not working perfectly the first result is your SDI will be damaged. It can even be, by the way, by an external equipment that is also connected to this DTAP and by another connection make a, a, a third loop and when that is powered on and off, damage this equipment. So yes, it can be, become a very complicated situation to analyze the cause of the damage of the SDI. And most com customers say, yeah, but it worked for months. And suddenly it stopped so it's a bad design no no it's not a bad design it's just a combination of the whole thing because there is nothing wrong with the power distributor there was nothing wrong with the viewfinder there was nothing wrong with eva but this combination uh, has some danger so now solution how to solve it well i think the most simple way is to use a kind of device sorry i don't have one here today which is called an sdi isolator so it's a little device it has a kind of RF transformer in it and you will break the galvanic connection 
the ohmic connection between the SDI out and between the SDI in of the viewfinder. That way, no more current can go through the system, even if there is something wrong at the DTAP part or, or wherever in the system, and your SDI inputs, outputs are saved. Thank you for watching.